upon which property do these four objects have in common? The objects are tent, tissue, socks, paper. Option A is slippery. Option B is bendable. Option C is sticky. D bouncy. So option B is the correct option here because all these objects are flexible and we can bend them easily. Question number two, which is the scratchiest? Option A, asphalt road. B, rubber ball. C, glass. D, soap bar. So obviously, uh, asphalt road is the scratchiest of all. Question number three, which would smell the most? Option A, metal car bumper. B, toothpaste. C, wood ruler. D, icicle. So toothpaste will spell, smell the most uh, because different flavors are added in it to make it smell good. So option B is the correct option here. Question number four, which material is these steps made of? Option A, cardboard. B, concrete. C, wax. And D, cotton. So concrete is the correct option here. These steps are made of concrete. Question number five, which materials are these cabinet made of? Option A, metal and wood. B, wood and glass. C, wood and rock. D, wood, metal and glass. So we can see the cabinet is made of wood and glass. But uh, screws or uh, nails are used to attach different parts of the woods to make this cabinet. So option D will be the correct option here. This cabinet is made of wood, metal, screws or nails and glass. Question number six. Select the living thing. Option A, scarecrow. B. Cave, C. Pepper tree, and D. Hockey puck. We all know that plants are also living beings. So, option C. Pepper tree is the correct option here. Question number seven Is the wind turning a pine wheel a solid, a liquid, or a gas? So, option A is a solid, B. A liquid, C. A gas, and D is none of these. So, uh, it's quite obvious that wind is. A gas. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 8. Natural resources are useful things that come directly from nature. Which of these pictures shows a natural resource? Option A. Soccer balls. B. Trees. C. Batteries. D. Light bulbs. So the examples of natural resources are like trees, oil and water. So here trees are the natural resources. So option B is the correct option. Question number 9. This map uses blue to show liquid water. Which arrow doesn't point to water? First is Lake Michigan. 2. Mississippi River. 3. Pacific Ocean. 4. Antarctica. So we can see that uh, first three arrows are pointing towards the liquid water because the word lake, river and ocean uh, are written. And the fourth arrow is pointing towards the uh, continent Antarctica which is covered in ice. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 10. Which thermometer shows the higher temperature? So in the first thermometer, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. In the second thermometer, temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. In the third thermometer, the temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. And in the last thermometer, the temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. So option C is the correct option. The thermometer given in this option is showing the highest temperature of all. Question number 11. Select the brown rock with sharp edges. So we can see black colored rocks in option B and D. And the rocks given in option A and C, their color is brown. So, but the edges of the rock given in option C has sharp edges as compared to the rock given in option A. So, option C is the correct option here. Question number 12. Which animal lays eggs? A dog, a cat, a duck or a sheep? So, dog, cat and sheep. These animals are mammals which uh, give birth to children. And birds lay eggs. So, the duck is a bird which lays eggs. So, option C is the correct option here. Question number 13. What is Earth's only natural satellite? Sun, Mars, Venus or Moon? So Mars and Venus are planets. Sun is a star. And uh, Moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth which revolves around the Earth. 
So option D is the correct option here. Question number 14. Look at the pictures given below. Which common thing they all need? Option A, water. B, air. C, sun. D, thread. So we can clearly see kites and bird need uh, air to fly. And the windmill also work with the help of air. So option B is the correct option here. All these things need air to fly or work. Question number 15. When the earth is seen from outer space, it looks mainly blue. This is because most of the earth is covered with ice, mountains, oceans or deserts. So we all know the color of the ice is white. Mountains and deserts are in brown color and the water is in blue color. Uh, so the most of the earth is covered in water which is in the form of ocean water. So option C is the correct option here. Question number 16. Which of the following is not true about pollution? Option A. Pollution happens when something harmful is added to the environment. B. Pollution can cause some plants and animals to get sick or die. C. People cause pollution. D. People cannot reduce pollution. So option D is the only incorrect option here. People cannot reduce pollution. Because people can reduce pollution by using three R's. Recycle, reuse and reduce. Question number 17. This picture was taken after an earthquake. What evidence of an earthquake does this picture show? Option A. Some of the houses have broken roofs and walls. B. There are large cracks in the ground. C. The houses have windows. D. The houses have doors. So, option A is the only correct option. Some of the houses have broken roofs and walls in the given picture. So, this is our evidence of the earthquake. Question number 18. Which part of the body helps you move? Option A. Eyes. B. Lungs. C. Pancreas. D. Muscles. Uh, the movement of the muscles help us to move our body. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 19. Birds have feathers, two wings and a beak. A woodpecker is an example of a bird. Which picture from the following show a bird? Toad, iguana, cat, owl. Of course, we know that uh, owl is an example of bird. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 20. This table tells you about two earthquakes that happened in New Zealand. It gives you information about the effects of the earthquakes on the city of Christchurch. The dates are given strength, focus of the earthquake. The first earthquake was 330 miles from the Christchurch and the second was uh, just about 3 miles from the Christchurch. Effects on Christchurch. Some people felt the ground shake. No buildings were damaged in the first earthquake. But in the second earthquake, most people felt the ground shake. Many buildings fell down. Select one reason why the earthquake in 2011 had a bigger effect on Christchurch. Use the information in that table to choose your answer. Option A it is started closer to Christchurch than the other earthquake did. B. It lasted longer than the other earthquake. No time is given in the table. C. It was stronger than the other earthquake. D. It was weaker than the other earthquake. So option A is the suitable option here. The second earthquake was just 3 miles from the Christchurch and the first one was a wave. Uh, it was about 330 miles from Christchurch. That's why the second earthquake uh, had more effect on Christchurch. 